Hi everyone, so today I want to play around with a few new sets that I picked up from HSN. They're these Anna Griffin um, Scallop Compendium? Scallop Edge Compendium dies, and then the Paper Fashion Stickers. Now, I was really curious of these. I thought they were really cute, but like I really don't know how I'm going to pair them or put them on a card, so we're going to try that out today. Um, so if these are still available, I'll link them in the description box. Those would be a fail at least. It means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. Possibly with uh, HSN and YouTube, it might be a little shopping bag right here, but sometimes, for whatever reason, it doesn't pull them in. Um, all the items that I might want to link. So in the description box, they're always there, like the full list, okay? Um, yeah, so let's try these out. I, You know, I watched the demo whenever Anna had talked about them, and I'm still like, okay, how are we going to make a card, like the scene of it, you know, kind of thing. And I'm not looking to make a scene scene, but something. Um, and then I wanted to pair them with these because I thought, why not? I mean, the oval really speaks to me, but I have a little different idea. So I think I might use the rectangular shapes today. These are like five by seven type of mats. The largest oval, largest rectangle is very five by seven ish. Um, sorry about that sound. I measured them in the haul video. So again, I mean, you can pair them in different ways to make like frames, you know, it's, well, basically they are frames, <laughs> now that I look at it, uh, which is interesting. Honestly, I didn't even realize that. Sorry, guys, if I didn't mention that in the other one. Um, they do cut just like that layer, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you can paper piece in or piece in another matte layer here, or however you want to do that, which is what I wanted to do today anyway, but I just was a little taken aback. I didn't realize that they were just already cut in frames. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hope I didn't say there were matte layers in the other video. I don't want to... You know, confuse people, but if you're looking at it, you can see it's frame, 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 right? Um, and then the pieces that go inside of there, obviously, will work too. Um, I was thinking about starting with like a card base that might already have in my stash. That way, the card base itself is pretty, right? Um, so let me just grab some different things. We're gonna need flourishes. We're gonna need all kinds of stuff. So I will be right back. Don't worry about card base later. Let me just. I brought out some different things I have in my stash. So enchanted vellum card toppers. So I thought, oh, well, that should have some backgrounds. I mean, it has. Lots of pretty things, but it has these. And then I'm going to match the dress to that, because since I don't really have an idea of what the sentiment's going to be on this, I can just kind of go through these guys. I grabbed some happy birthday stickers. They have some other things in here. I don't know. Um, some gold foil kind of flourishes kind of things <laughs> that I have in my stash. So I see there's like a pink dress that I'm already thinking will work for us. Pretty, okay, let's see. Oh, that one's better. I'm gonna go with this. And, yeah, so <laughs> let me put this away. Oh, you know what, this even has little vellum pieces that help us do pretty things. You know what I'm saying, if you're really kind of creating this. And you know, I always do kind of less is more, but haven't used these so might as well right um that brings some more of that hot pink back in and then maybe we'll do like the gold frame of this okay sounds good again i'm just trying to create a scene kind of get some background going i will definitely get to the bicycle easel i was going to mention at the beginning because i know people are getting impatient with me they want to see the bicycle easel <laughs> and um, i just knew i wasn't going to be able to get to it over the weekend with the kids at home so I know that's going to be a Monday project. Um, but I do have some Spellbinders releases. There are videos that are coming out. Look at this one. The hot pink of that one even is better. I wish this. They, I wish they weren't facing the same way. They're both facing like that way. If one was facing kind of... Do you know what I'm saying? If our arms were facing in the opposite direction. I would love that because... Um, oh my gosh. Honestly, I kind of want to go with that one. But I was... That not that... Isn't that funny? Ah, okay, we're going with that one. <laughs> I really like the light pink one, but I feel like the colors I'm putting down go better with the other one. I'm trying to get the bonnet. Is all I'm going for right now. I think that's the bonnet that goes with that one. Let's see if there's another one that's more hot pink. I know she said that she designed bonnets for each one. Let me see if you can tell by here. No, not really. Um, yeah, I don't know. That one looks good to me. I mean, this one looks good too, right? But with the yellow, I think it goes with something else. There's only another hat that has like pink in it and it's this little guy. I'm gonna go with that one. Let me put these back in the packaging. I'll be right so back. So then if I get this guy and cut it out in gold, you can imagine we'll be like in here. I'm just kind of playing with this. So I'll cut that out from some gold. We'll have that piece. We'll have this guy. 
the little hat. The hat one is always what kind of throws me off, but if you saw an example, she just kind of includes it, so it's just kind of there, sweet, you know. Um, I've seen an example where she really framed it out in the top, and I thought, well, maybe I can do something like that. So let me see if the shapes in here are even something that will do that for me. You know, a lot of times these flourishes, they come in all different styles and the way they kind of curve around. Oh, okay, maybe maybe this will work. Does, does she have an opposite one in here? Uh, there should be one that's opposite, right? If there's not, then that's not going to work for me. Well, I guess it might still work if I do one one way. What is going on? Usually, <laughs> Miranda's been watching a lot of older... There we go. That's the one. Um, see how they're not the same? They're like opposite each other. Uh, a lot of older Disney shows. And, oh, maybe we do that and we'll put this guy dead center. I was going to put it in the corner, but that's cute. And uh, one of the kids here says, what is going on? And <laughs> it reminded me of right now. Uh, let's see here. I was looking for my folder that does ribbons. Nope, still nope, nope. They're here somewhere. I'll be right back. If I don't find these in the next two seconds, I'm going to scream. So I <laughs> He's always next to me, but I think I used him in a haul, not a haul, in a swap one time, and I put him in a, not exactly in the same spot where I keep my other ones, like the ones you just saw. So anyway, um, this guy. So I'm going to take this one and maybe run, I mean, there's some light blue and stuff, but I don't know. I'm going to run that through. Maybe, maybe we bring in some light blue, huh? Um... You know, we have these pieces like this green and this pink. Well, she's not green, but the light blue might be okay. Again, we're covering up that vellum in the back, but you know, we're going to go for it. So I'm going to find a light blue. I know I have one right here. Um, right here. And I'll run that through and see what it looks like. If it's too garish, then we'll go with like pink. But again, I don't like to waste. So I just run it through a piece that I think yeah, that's about the size I have here. And I'll be right back. So whatever your machine is that cuts a cut, you know, embossing folder basically, um, will be good. These aren't super thicker than like a standard embossing folder, so that's good. But I'll put these things away and I'll be right so back. So my Spellbinders machine, I actually just did, this is just your old school system, so the platform, the cutting die, like, or cutting plate you're supposed to do. And then I did two shims because it still needed to be a little tighter. That's what I'm saying. These aren't very thick. The cut and emboss folders, which is interesting. You think that they would be as thick as like a, a 3D one, but they really aren't. And I know some people put them through like the smaller ones that'll fit in the marquee. They put them in the marquee. I don't do that, but just passing that info along. <laughs> so there you go. And even at that, it barely cuts. So maybe even three shims might be better next time. But we have that. That's cute. That'll make it pop. Okay. Um, okay. Well, at this point, let me go ahead and run... I said I was going to put these other things away, didn't I? And I did not. But let me put th uh, this through um, just in a gold paper. I think just gold is good. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So um, just cut that out. So again, the piece that cuts out, you can definitely use as a matte layer, right? It, you can also just measure it and know and just cut it from his paper from something else. You don't have to run the whole die through, but that's what it is. And then it has the little embossed detail. Um, this is completely 5 by 7 so I'm just going to make a 5 by 7 card base with some ivory kind of cardstock here. So if we're making our own from the 11 inch side, you're gonna wanna do 10 inches and from the other side, seven. So if I cut this, um, I'm gonna take an inch and a half off of this so I don't have to open up the, the arm here. So an inch and a half off of that, that makes it seven already, and then ten inches in the other direction. And I know I pinched this paper a little bit weird, so I'm going to cut that piece off. So one inch off of this direction. And let's score it at five inches. But I know Anna has a lot of card bases that are already really pretty, like that background piece, the topper. So you can just start with that and then build up your card. But I went with this, so here we go. Okay, so I love, you know, watching 
the demos when it just comes out and she just pops them down and they're already like layered up in pieces that she just has sticky stuff on the back of and just sticks them down and it's so easy but obviously we gotta <laughs> do our own thing here so let's get this guy down I suppose if you wanted to make this a smaller mat layer you can definitely take a little bit off of the edges uh, on this one so you have that guy and then I'm definitely just going to go with the frame next this guy again you know think about dimensionals or however you like I think it's gonna have a lot of dimension already with the dress and the little flourish thing I'm putting at the top so I'm just eyeballing where this goes hopefully this helps you kind of come up with your own composition or scene or background or however um, a lot of this is going to be covered up so I'm not super afraid of where I'm putting glue but I'm just going to put the glue like here in the pink area and honestly I can put some pie in here if I really wanted to make sure everything's held down I'm just going to pop that in there it's not perfectly inside of that frame this little gap at the top and at the bottom but that's pretty good <laughs> not too bad and then these guys I am probably going to keep flat and then maybe pop this up a little bit okay that looks so pretty you guys oh my gosh oh by the way these are stickers <laughs> you can just take the back off of it I'm just I'm telling you I'm so used to just going to grab my glue um, even with like the new spellbinders little adhesive dots I just forget to use it because I'm just creature of habit okay so I'm just kind of overlapping those in the center that looks really pretty maybe bring this one out a little bit more I'm gonna get some low profile dimensionals on this one low profile is the name of the game my kids are waking up guys I have to wrap this up I think we'll be able to do it so let me get some dimensionals on this I'll be right back so we have this guy and I'm just gonna put it right down here and I probably wait a little bit because I can see it's not dry underneath here so again children waking um, we're just gonna go right in the center I think it might and I'm gonna pop this up too so um, I'm gonna put the thicker dimensionals I know I you know I don't want to go too high but <laughs> I want my dress to really be up and pop in so again that this is also a sticker you could just take the back off I want to see how much I need here um, honestly I feel like that's okay I don't know where it's touching there but something like down here maybe just a couple more dimensionals here and I'm just gonna stick her down and then the little hat can be somewhere fun <laughs> and then we're gonna find a sentiment that we want for this guy so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more down this way maybe and she is kind of in the center. I kind of wandered her off to the side initially, but that's not going to work out for me right now. And again, you know, you don't have to have the hat. But where do you want to place it? Maybe here? Okay, I'll put it there with... You know what? We'll just stick it down. Um, I'm really bad at peeling these, so I just kind of gouge it and then <laughs> take it off, and that's how I do that. Maybe put that, like, right there. Okay, so that, that, this, this. Okay. So far. I feel like I still need something here just because, but again, I don't like filling it up too much. So I think we're going to be okay with that. I did leave one flourish out. Now that I think about it, where did I put it? Okay, I, may, I put it away afterwards. <laughs> I probably did. I left one out because I thought it might help me down here, but we'll see. Let's look in here, and if I don't like what's in here, I'll find something else. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday greetings, sending birthday wishes, wishing you a fantastic birthday. That might be cute. Happy birthday to you. Sending birthday wishes. And I'm kind of putting it over here. I don't know why. Something about it makes me feel like it should be over here. Okay, now let's look at these guys again. Yeah, I had left out one that was kind of like all-encompassing <laughs> and I don't know why I put it away it was kind of like this one I was gonna put it down here and then put the sentiment which would be cute but that's not gonna work now 
Let's see. I'm going to dig through here, guys. I don't want to waste your time. Oh, maybe I found it already. I just want something to add a little something extra. We'll see. I'm going to find something for in here. I'll be right back. Just this guy kind of peeking behind here. So let me take this. Ah! What is... <gasps> I poked through the whole thing. Oh, you can't even see it, but... I went all the way through the cardstock, guys. I don't think I've ever done that before. My goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's fix that little space. Um, okay. Oh, this is so cute. You know, I don't like burying or covering a lot of things up. Maybe if we have it like here. Maybe a little higher up. <laughs> just to show a little more of that one. Okay, so I'm going to stick that together. And then it's just going to be kind of on its own out here. Let me pop that little piece of paper back down. So that little hole I made is patched up. There we go. All I did was take my little tool here and just flattened it out so you don't see that little hole anymore. Um, and maybe put a dimensional. I don't, you know, I want things to not get all smashed as they're going through the mail. So you definitely want to support everything okay and how about that right there okay i'm gonna hold this down and then we'll take a look again i didn't support that because that's just like a flourish that's fine i'll be right back okay guys and there is my creation um i feel like it came together pretty quickly um really sweet i'm still debating on this guy kind of stuck it down I was maybe I should put it closer to the dress but anyway <laughs> I think it's really cute um, you know start to finish I mean we came from nothing to a whole card that has all kinds of pretty stuff and lots to look at and it is just like spectacular so thanks for watching guys I hope that helped you kind of think about how you're gonna make your compositions to make a card you know a cohesive card but um, super appreciate you watching I'll have the links there I'll have the images coming up and I'll see you all at the next one Bye now.